I already had a few questions in regards to how do I create the opacity. So I just wanted to quickly show you what I do. I'm not going to go through all the little details, just going to show it roughly. So this is the image that we're going to work on. And um, so this is the original back backdrop. So I've made a selection here of the baby and uh, it's just a rough selection and I'm not going to go again into details. Let's just click the um, shift key on the keyboard and I'm going to make the image a little smaller. Here we go. A little bit more because I, oh, I already know that the image, um, the backdrop uh, will need the new baby to be very small. So there we go. Just going to drag it and drop it here. Again, I'm holding the shift key down and resizing. I'm working on the Mac, by the way. Just keep resizing till you get to the right size where you kind of feel like it should be. I'll click OK, open the layer mask, and go into my brush on um, black and 100% opacity so roughly I'm just going to go around just to sort of place the baby onto the um, fabric one second let me just quickly do it <coughs> sorry reduce the opacity bigger brush there Okay, so let's just say that this is all good and that we're happy with it. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to drag it down and duplicate that layer. Let's just select this one and drag it to the opposite side. It's going to just sort of move your eyes. <laughs> Just try to see if it looks like it's in the right place. Here you got the opacity, I'll just click it down. Here you got the opacity, which we are going to use. So we're happy with it. So as you can see on um, on the back of the baby, the whole area here, you can see that layer of the fluff that the baby is on because we just reduced the opacity so now you can see it and you're not supposed to. So the few ways to get rid of it, we can just take the um, clone um, and clone from this area and um, just sort of like um, clone this area and, and make sure that the back of the baby is clear. Um, we can maybe select just the brush I'm going to go on our backdrop and do it on that layer. Usually when I work on the backdrop, I always duplicate, but I'm not going to do it this time. So yeah, we can just select a color from this area. Let's just go on 100% opacity. Let's see what the baby is sitting on. There we go. Right, I kind of missed this area there. I'll just Just redo it in a way that the baby layer is there so I can actually see what I'm painting. Here you go, I'm just going through that fluff and it's sort of gone. Like if it's just looking so very bad to me. Pull this over to make it a little smoother. So, let's just see some color. I need some color. I think it just come up in the actual page. Alright, so it looks alright to me. Maybe I can just do a more. So this is basically how you do it. So it's easy and very simple. And when I get to this stage, just flatten the image. I usually like to um, add the 
filter, just like a warm filter. That is really nice warm filter on my images. Um, I also, um, I don't know, either matte filter or just a little bit on the edges. I don't know. Just give it a nice sort of like um, finish to make it all come together and look even nicer. I, I also like the um, the vintage sort of dirty look so I always add another, another layer or overlay with um, vintage look but it's really up to you how you would like to do the um, you know, final touches and then just give it your own, your own one you know just give it your own final touch so that's it I hope it wasn't too hard to understand let me know if you have any questions if you want me to add something if you want me to concentrate on anything else and to maybe explain it with more details. Thank you so much. Bye.